YouTube fans, how are you today? Well, thank you for tuning in today's vlog. If you're wondering what I'm doing today, I'm going to show you how you can reformat two hard drives in one single case. Now, of course, you're going to need your usual manual guide. It comes with your case. Now, of course, we're going to do uh, a big capacity uh, drive. Of course, here is some of your different uh, dip switches uh, settings uh, in the book. What we want to do is make one big hard drive by using uh, number two. Okay. Now, once you bought your brand new hard drives, you already put them in here. Do not format it yet because the computer won't not see it. Of course, I have a Seagate 500 gigabyte. I have a original digital 500 uh, gigabyte capacity. And of course, let's bring up the uh, little case unit here. And right here, is the little dip switch and there is the reset switch right over here. Now on the back we have a fan, a power switch, a USB 3 and the power port. Now what we're going to do is we're going to slide this over here towards the computer and we're going to plug it in by the USB in power before you get everything connected. Now, these are brand new drives, right? Right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to flip the switch on. And what's going to happen is this going to recognize it on the computer? It does a, some uh, software install. This doesn't have any uh, software installation disk because you're actually using uh, your computer. Now, of course, you can see it doesn't show up here. Why? Because the drives are not formatted. First of all, we gotta go into your start menu, go to control panel. And we gotta go to this one, the tools. Click that one. And go to uh, computer disk manage uh, right here. And what we're going to do is go to disk manage. And we're going to set the thing. And of course, says initialize to disk. We're going to hit that. If you can see, right here, this one and this two. Do not format it. Of course, we're not going to do that because I'm going to set it to number two and what we're going to do is reset the actual unit itself. It takes a little bit of time uh, for it to sync everything uh, to the actual computer itself by using USB. Now we have this one. Okay? Now what we're going to do is going to reformat this. Of course, it can give you some errors like this. That typically happens. Of course, what we're going to do is we're going to power the system back off and we're going to power it back on. Of course, first of all, we got to disconnect a couple of the cables here, the USB and power cable again, and we connect our thing back to the computer for to recognize uh, most of the things. Now, of course, you don't want to put the case back on just yet. We got to get these two drives uh, formatted in one big capacity. Now of course we have both lights flashing downhill. Of 
course, everything is working like it's supposed to, you can see right there. And of course, the computer has a little bit of issues of getting it to work. And I'm going to go ahead and restart the computer, and we're going to see what's going on. Okay. Well, welcome back. I had to somewhat restart my computer because my laptop's having some issues of reformatting this uh, drive case with both hard drives inside of it. But now it's seeing it is one drive instead of two uh, separated uh, hard drives. We click the OK button. And I really hope this does work. And sometimes it can be frustrating when you are using uh, newer technology with a older Windows 7 computer uh, like this one. And now we can now put a new volume on it. And we can also change uh, the letter if you want. Uh, we're going to go ahead and change it to a little uh, B for, you know, backup and stuff. And also, you can also change the name if you choose. I'm going to leave that the same. And now the computer is now going to make this one big capacity hard drive. And also, it's going to take a while, it's a lot of patience and a lot of things the computer truly has to do to get the hard drive to actual work. Of course, because my computer is older, it's an older uh, system. Now, of course, now we have everything set up the way it needs to do. Let's close out of all these little applications out of all these applications here and now we go back on the uh, desktop over here you can see there is the new drive of course it's not going to be anything on the inside of course if you're also brand new to this channel please hit that subscribe to that button leave a comment down below please like Please dislike if you don't like the content I make. I do apologize for a very long video. This is typically very easy to do, but my computer is a older system. Uh, please share. Peace out. Bye, guys and girls. Well, please see you in the next vlog. Thank you for watching, and have a very nice day.